Welcome again to Kansas, Texas, Christian, TCU uh, semifinal championship game. I believe this is part four of this. If you could click the subscribe button or comment and share, like, it's always appreciated. Let's jump right back into it. Kansas is doing an amazing job of getting some open threes, doing a lot in transition. Actually, McCormick is doing a fair amount around the rim. But let's just jump right into this high ball screen. Again, Kansas likes to go. Look, see how he, he plays this. He goes from nose on ball to kind of like butt to sideline, nose on shoulder essentially, right? But he, he totally changed his position here, right? So let's go back real quick, right to here. But butt is kind of to like, it butts kind of the corner, butts the baseline. He sees ball screen coming and right there, he immediately shifts over to butt to sideline and look at Lightfoot. Like the, the, clearly they've drilled on this and are great at it. And that's also why they're, you know, continuing to win the Big 12 and be a top five team in the nation. Play lane line, play lane line, kind of zoning this guy up, right? So we're there. We don't let him get to the ball screen, right? So then we protect, but everybody collapses to the big. Oh, and there's a dump down. So four's, four is without question having a day. What I think we could have done better at here is Remy, I believe Remy might be 11, or, um, but he chases his man out, right? And Braun's in no position, right? Unless this guy's just a dead three, Right, unless he's a guy you, you're guarding, Steph Curry here, and you can't leave him open, right? And then, then you would, then you have to play outside the lane line. But eleven, which I think is Remy, should have stayed to the big. But look at Lightfoot getting his hands up, and Forge just having a game, right? It's now they're getting hammered. It's thirty-four to twenty-one. They end up losing by about that margin, right? But we've got to be better in terms of zoning up on the roll and four. Four's, four, I don't know how many he has. It's 21. He could have half their points at this point, right? So light foot, low, wide, strong, balanced, over the top of the ball screen. Let's not try to run into it. Let's not get hung up. Let's really fight over and contain because we prefer not to switch here. There's the roll. This guy has to be stunting the light foot, but you're also guarding a dead three. Playing downhill with contact to the rim, and there's Remy, right? So listen, it's 34-21. It's Right? So they readjust the ball screen. He runs into it. And then because you because and then he gets to the contact, you have a dead three there, right? And you're just gonna let him get wherever he wants off no pass, one little screen, and he gets to the elbow. Picks it up. It's kind of this horns action, not a horns action, but a uh um, I forget that where it's the, the big is at the elbow or nail and pops out and you kind of have this dice formation around them, right? So light foot here, but watch fours on the roll. Remy's got to take it. This guy's got to squeeze down. How are, how is Remy going to play this? Because right, th exactly. Right. So how are you playing these actions? Right. So this action where it's really like middle using the ball screen, if, if he were more out here where it was too flat, too high. Big in the middle of the floor. Um, I forget the action that, you know, uh, what people call that a chin action, um, right? So anyway, it's a ball screen where he uses it. There's the roll. Where should ball side locked in, locked in. This guy right here needs to be the stunt to the roll, right? If anything, we want this guy to throw a diagonal pass over Lightfoot and over Remy here, whomever this guy is. Over the top, the diagonal here. We do not want, like, I appreciate this guy being ball side, but right there, he gets so locked in, and right here, he's just dead in the water, right? So now it's, you know, we're trading baskets. Look, this is what I would, this is what you can't do as a player. And, I, and I'm not, listen, he's, he was at Arizona State, played for Hurley. He's at Kansas. He's, he comes off the bench. He started early in the year. He's a heck of a player probably, right? But he's helping to the big. He, he's in a rough spot. Right, but he immediately looks at the coach. You can't have bench eye, you can't, or maybe he's like I don't know who he's talking to. It's it is Remy Martin. So and then one somebody else, right? But you you like that's the body language. Like, and I'm not saying it's bad, and he's probably a, a heck of a player. I'm sure he is. I know he is. Right, ball screen to a pick and pop because you can do it with light foot. Shooters on the weak side of the floor. Let's see how Martin plays it downhill to a kick. Like wow. Right, so you can't get. You have to know who you're guarding. I do appreciate the fact that the ball's over here and they are laying line here. You've got to zone the middle, 
with the guys on the weak side of the floor and play lane line or mid line. You have to. There's a pick and pop here. Let Lightfoot shoot it. But film and scouting report and game plan should dictate that. And you should know that Lightfoot is a big at the top of the sc- uh, at top of the key, and he's always reversing it. So you could play it loose and protect here and let Lightfoot. If Lightfoot wants to shoot threes to beat you, God bless him. Right. So we're right here. But look, so locked in on ball. Right. Right there. So locked in on ball, but to sideline. No vision with their second leading score. And now we're just trading baskets. We're trading baskets. 38-23. Look at how they're trying to play this ball screen with four. But this is what Lightfoot does quite a bit better than McCormick. And I watch a lot of Kansas. And I like their chances. I I think their problem is going to be how good Braun can be when he's not making threes, how good uh, McCormick and Lightfoot can be on the interior. Do they have a post presence in terms of scoring and can they, and can Lightfoot compete against bigger, stronger, tougher kids, right? But here, but he's a great tech, he's great technically, right? So there it is, right? And now they're just going to kind of read it. Now, can Abaji keep him in this trap, right? So no, he can't, right? So it's a hook pass and look, one and 11 are just in bad spots defensively because look, they're rolling to a guy that's, and I, I, I'm, I don't know if he's a pro or not, but he's got probably got a pro body, right? So this guy's making this cut. He's locked in there. He's locked in there. So Remy's got to guard the big because they redded it or trapped it right here. He, uh, Remy's got to guard this guy. And now Remy's just in a bad spot because he's probably 5'10 on a good day, right? And he's got to guard somebody that's 6'10 that is, uh, you know, uh, uh, has a pro body. Right. So that's just a rough deal. Now, Remy seems to have, you know, interesting body language, right? He's all nothing's ever his fault and he's never creating any fouls and he's always trying to figure out what the heck's going on. Right. So. All right. Let's see. So now Remy's still in. He's the point. Now, Remy started the year as a starter. Then they started going with the Harris uh, player who I really like. Right. And now what we're doing here is an action that they've run for years. They even ran this when self was at Tulsa of all places years and years ago. They're going to swing their guards on the baseline and they're going to pop to the elbows. They're big. So Lightfoot and in this case, um, in this case, Braun are going to be their back cut guys. This guy's on a back cut or they're going to dribble handoff. Oh, it's a different action. Love it. Love, love, love this play. Stealing it. Love this play. Flash the bigs, get it to an elbow, stay away. The other, clear everybody out, move up, ball screen to the rim. Stealing it, right? It's a great little play. All right, but you have Braun that can do all that sort of stuff, right? So Braun, look at how Braun pushes him off his spot here. So you've got to figure this stuff out. He wants this positioning. You've got to be a good enough post player if that's your gig and you want to post. You've got to be good enough to hold and create your positioning. Braun's pushing him out, but look where he kept. He wanted it in there, but look where he ended up, right? So now Lightfoot, look at how Lightfoot's playing four, which is perfect, and they're locked in, right? And hopefully Remy's not in a position where he's got to. So now they're running this into ball screen, but look, let's see how they play it. Over the top again. Everything with Kansas is over the top. Lightfoot's on the protect but you know that he's a roll guy and not a pop guy now he's gonna beat Braun here in a second because Braun is trying his best to keep him from getting to the elbow and that means the help's got to come from here it can't come from here because then five's gonna score and this guy's got to be over the top right so he goes there and gets to the rim and good on Braun right so good on Braun with that he was able to recover to this ball screen here watch he fights over the top he levels him off and you're athletic enough to block that shot. And then kind of keep, and then still competes. Now the ball's over there. Let's see. Everybody gets matched up. Oh, and they get a shot clock violation. So what's the shot clock at? Seven right here. Six, five, four, three. Don't leave the ball. You got to know time, score, three on the shot clock. Don't leave the ball. Don't leave it. He leaves it right here. And nobody can test. They get lucky, but they get the shot clock violation. And that is a great job. This play was one here. It's, and I'm not saying it's great because I don't think it is great. But listen, watch this play one more time. They push him off his spot. They're going to run it into ball screen. Lightfoot's talking, but look, he goes over the top. 
And right here, he gets him downhill. But look at how he's playing it right here. Right? Shoulder to shoulder. It's tight, all that. And, and Braun just makes a play. So we get lucky with the play. We get a shot clock violation. We'll go one more play here. Um, I like the way Braun plays, right? Man, it'd be great if we could finish with our left there. You know what I mean? Because it gets blocked right there because he's got to come back right instead of just this extended, you know, that's the difference between pros and, and really, really good players, right? If he had come and made this play, broke the nail elbow off ball screen and Braun and rose up and finished in traffic with his left, with that body, right? Then people start to take notice and they think it's an amazing play. Instead, Braun looks like, you know, so we're going to run a zipper cut or uh, screens to pin to, like the all sorts of action. See, but what I like about what Kansas does is they move people around a lot and nobody complains about how they're being used, right? Lightfoot sets a great back screen for Abaji and Abaji is their best, right? They don't change it, but they now, so the ball sticks a little bit more with Remy, right? But this, that's what I love. And listen, I, I've watched a fair amount of Kansas. I haven't watched all of Kansas. What I don't love about this is how much the ball sticks with Remy right here. You know, it's, you know, 26 on the shot clock. Let's call it, you know, 28 that by the time you brought it up, right? Here's a pop. We have an opportunity here to change the floor and get it back to Abaji. Yes, they end up scoring. We don't get it there. So he's shaking. He draws two. Still shaking, still shaking, still shaking. So for 10 or so seconds, we've had it. But well, that's fine. I get it. So here's the roll. And here's what I like about Lightfoot. Roll. Look at how he sprints. For all you guys out there, watch. Cat doesn't get it. And then he sprints to a spot right there. Right, this guy's guarding Braun, so good on him to control that, right? But then he creates the contact, and now we have it. Now Braun is somebody you may have to double where McCormick you don't, and they get to a jump hook at the front of the rim, and it looks just cleaner, tighter, um, you know, more skilled, and and I like McCormick, right? But I don't know if he has what Lightfoot has in terms of offense there, okay? So listen, appreciate uh, you know uh, you watching. Appreciate the feedback we've received. If you could click that subscribe button, um, follow us, you know, um, like us, and comment. It's all appreciated. Look for another video here shortly. Thank you.